Hey everyone, I'm here with Corey. Say hi, Corey. Hey, how's it going? And we are both professional pixel artists and now indie retro game developers. And we're working on a game called Damon Claw, which was heavily inspired by my game playing memories as a kid of two Sega games, one being Black Belt for the Sega Master System and the other game being Altered Beast. And the gameplay of the game we're working on is more directly related to Black Belt, but there's some concepts from Altered Beast that we're gonna talk about while we're playing this game. And we already did a playthrough of Black Belt. We'll put a link up to that video as well, where we discussed a lot of the sort of gameplay ideas of both Black Belt and our own game. All right, I should mention Corey and I, neither of us have practiced this game much at all. For the most part, <laughs> I played this until very recently, uh, since about, what, uh, 20 years ago, more than that? Right, so, me too as well. I. I was always kind of bad at this game, and I it and I realized over time it wasn't because I was bad; it's because yeah. the game was uh, kind of sluggish and hard yeah. to control. You know? Um, yeah, there's a reason we've been affectionately calling the game "Altered Claude" behind right. the scenes. We will be cheating with the extra health and lives, as you can see. But the game is so short. In the editing process, I might have to actually pause between levels and cover some of the points that we might not have completely covered without further ado we can dive in so you go ahead and press start <laughs> all right all right so there okay oh i should also mention that we both legally purchased this game on steam like the right. official sega <laughs> version and the online game mode was absolutely horrendous uh see if yeah, you can get this power super lag quickly on the side hurry hurry uh. it's gonna go off screen uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, there oh, you there. go. I came back on. Lovely. All right. But anyway, so... Oh, what just happened? I killed him and the both, the power-up balls just disappeared. Oh, was that a brown one? Okay. okay Maybe there, it there. was and I'm just... Yeah. My brain is fried. You can get both if you want for now. No, no, go ahead. Go for uh, it. Super jump. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I just, I'm too far away. Um, oh, there's another chance to get... I, I think that was... There you go. What was my nickname for this uh, big, big oaf simulator? Yeah, or something? yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, you're one, we're one shy, but it's all right. One yeah. We're usually not this bad, but we're trying to <laughs> talk and record at the same time. There we go. Okay, oh, oh, good. Don't forget how to super jump is just like in Dana Claw up in the jump. Yep. And that's the max power, right? When you just turn into the ball. Yeah, getting the power ups at that point do nothing. It doesn't even seem to give you extra points. I'll have to double check that. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But and then the level is basically a walkthrough. So long as you keep using the um, this dash move without uh -huh. being at the extreme edge of the screen, like I just did, or into the extreme edge of the screen. Oh yeah, they don't. Oh, do it, it. No, it, it does give you more points, but it doesn't replenish health or anything like that. Right. So, I guess I'm a, a grass werewolf, uh, something yes. like that. <laughs> Welcome to your doom. He'll finish transforming. Eventually. This guy is fairly cool looking in the original yeah. arcade. Uh, yeah, he gets severely downgraded on Mega Drive, but yeah. So. That's the thing, when I first saw this game in the arcade, when it was brand new, and I walked in and I saw the new arcade cabinet and the cool uh, concept and graphics, I fell in love, and I wanted to love this game so bad, and I ended up getting the game on the, the Genesis, and just never played it much, because it just, while it had a lot going for it conceptually and visually, it just really, there, there were a lot of dropped the ball, so to speak, when it comes to the implementation of the gameplay. Yeah, I agree. The, the worst of which is why we're calling it Altered Claude, which is right. <laughs> even when you're fully powered up, the weakest of enemies can just cause this chain reaction of sending you bumping around helpless from, from one enemy or even the same enemy trying to run through you. And uh, so you, you, you never feel all that pow powerful in the game itself, uh, from your powers, it's more a matter of 
just really precise memorization of where every enemy is going to be and where you should be at that moment. Yeah, the the fact that this like duck punch is so spammable and yeah. useful compared to everything else is you know that's not good uh, in terms of balance. Even though you know it's a strategy, but right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the case on the Master System slash Genesis and not the arcade. Like, I, I tried the arcade a little bit, and it definitely felt like the collisions were quite different, even the okay. timing of the animations. So I think that's another way that the Mega Drive port wasn't really, really faithful. And is this kick ever useful? This, like, yeah, kick thing? or In like the very that? first level, when those... Uh, Winged guys with like hammers are coming straight down on you. Oh, did I just grab the? Oh, thank goodness. Oh no, I, I think I got it. Yeah, you did. Uh, I was just worried I just stole it from you. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did do it first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fact that you can, even though it does nothing, is uh, also a little I'm bit surprised. Lame. I'm surprised that the beasts uh, don't sort of match the color scheme of your original character like i'm like yeah. a yellow dragon now you that know would make like, a lot of sense but but oh yeah the other important oh so yeah the clod thing it's just you you get bumped around that the collisions are uh like the collision boxes or i don't even know if they're trying to use quote unquote pixel perfect collisions but like you know you touch something with your little toe or your tail or your wingtip and you just get sent bouncing back uh, and right. even take damage from it. And the other thing is, uh, the, the concept I like, aside from, yeah, so I should start talking about the things that are the same between, or what influenced Damon Claw from this game. One of them is that you can power up uh, per level and that each level has a different theme of power you get. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a concept I really liked that I carried over. Uh, and then the other one that had so much potential in this game but just didn't quite pull it off was this cool idea that the power, the specific power you get per level is just the right powers or set of powers uh, in your that your beast can, can perform that uh, for fighting yeah. that the boss. So... Oh, 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 I didn't even see that pit. Oh yeah. my god. So right. if you high jump, you might be able to grab that ball. It's completely invisible. Oh, um, no. It's... It's gone. Yeah. Careful, there's another dead ball. Oh, ball wow. There. Um... Get ready to super jump <laughs> up. There go. And I think there's even going to be one more uh, set of wolves coming from this direction at the last minute. Oh, okay. So stay up here. Yep. All right. You stay there and get the... Oh! No. <laughs> right, get that one too. There we go. And this is the worst, in my opinion, of the things you transform into. It's just oh. his, his stance is, is goofy. It's what? It was a bad idea to give a uh, a, a powerful bear creature a an almost ballerina like pose. Uh, it's it's yeah. supposed to be like the cat stance in kung fu, but it's just. You know, yeah, the he bear so... should be big and gruff, not elegant right. in, in, uh, in his <laughs> in his combat ready pose with the toe up, like he's gonna kick when he never kicks. And then, uh, yeah, his move, his little weird breath bubble that turns people to stone. <laughs> and it, it's he looks it's just very goofy and uh, it's very strange posture to get into to to uh, to uh, let's just say. He blows, he blows at the enemies and it makes them hard. That's the pose he's getting into. <laughs> it's like Sonic, Sonic the Grizzly Bear or something, you know? Yeah. But you, you'll see when he transforms, this is exactly what you're supposed to do for this boss. Right. So you blow into that hole and it pushes him back and then you, and then you do the spin jump move up into his head. And then if he's able to get out any of those things, you just jump and destroy all of them instantaneously. So right. you can see, like, every boss is designed in that way, where you have the exact power to be the perfect response to the attacks of the uh, boss. 
But in general, if you just spam the boss with your attack, they die right. so fast it makes it almost a new point. And you saw the uh, sort of flying gargoyle or dragon uh, level. We beat the mm -hmm. boss so quickly just by overlapping near him and using the force field attack that it completely defeated the purpose of having that long range attack, which is really right. weak and slow. So great concept. Like that's to me, that's like that epitomizes or, or that is the perfect description of this great game. Great concept, poor execution. It's it's almost like a like an idea that was a bit ahead of its time yeah. because I do appreciate the imagination of the game, you know, it, it feels like they were they were thinking big yeah. uh, with this, you know. Yeah. I do know too from like history of Altered Beast videos that I've been watching recently in preparation for this video that um Alright, I got that apparently with the other one. Oh. Yeah, so that kick attack is useful for them, but even then you have to time it really carefully. Well, I'm talking about like this. this yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, those okay. winged guys right there. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. yeah. Like it's better to just get to the there side go, of them yeah. and then do a high jump and kick them, but uh, or uh, punch them. Mm -hmm. But if you're kind of stuck in a situation, you can mm. really kick them. Yeah. But it's yeah, usually just better to all right. See if you can grab the last remaining. I'm gonna try to all get right. out of the way. Yeah, another thing, you transform and your character's standing there like, wow, aren't I cool and powerful? And you're completely stuck there, a sitting duck, uh, in your I just got a power up pose. And then mm -hmm. just even a weak enemy can just run right up to you and start that chain reaction of bumping you. So, once again, uh, very clearly, every time the power you get is the exact power to fight this particular boss, like this, if you get just in front of him. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is hard, and you have to duck when it's slow, but the ideal situation is to get close enough so that your attack will hit him and kill the things he shoots out at the same time. Oh. But the controls are uh, not great, and uh, yeah. So I like the concept. I mean, I keep yeah, it's just slamming into it. Do I, do I have yeah, to exactly. just raise him? You have him? to be just in like... front of him, exactly. Okay, yeah. And sometimes you go through that uh, SpaghettiOs meatball beam that he shoots out, yeah. and other times you get hit by it, so it's definitely... Yeah. Wow. Consistency and that, is good, you know? If yeah, you and I'm not, I'm not a big works. fan of that little uh, sort of cheap-looking uh, yes. uh, a wavy ball thing. Um, yeah, not only that, if you notice, the little things he spits out, those tiny dragons, they are exactly the players from that previous level where you transform into the flying dragons mm. and they were literally just shrunk they weren't even like hand pixel cleaned up <laughs> they were just completely just like halved and then halved again i think yeah so yeah that's uh i i can't say i'm a fan of that uh but again like it this game the concept was really cool it was really ahead of its time uh i i've had really bad luck with these guys <sighs> Yeah, oh, the unicorns are even worse. <sighs> Bouncy guys. Yeah, all oh, these guys. Oh, yeah, this level is by far the worst as far as. Um, looks like you do kind of need getting to... juggled. Yeah, it looks like the ranged kick, if you can time it better, is yeah. useful here some. But yeah. I guess I'm completely gone. So. Yeah. All right. Well, it won't take me long. This is my last life too. We'll just do a little right. recon and see where the wolves are coming from. All right, so actually, because it's two-player, you're going to have to do it. Try holding, I think A, try mm -hmm. holding A, keep it held down, and press start. Okay. Is it? Yep, this is it. Okay. All right, cool. Nice. Uh, we got to get up there. Uh, the wolves are going to be coming. Ah, oh, he kind of comes down anyway. That's good. You can get the... And don't get me wrong, like, like we have not practiced worth anything, and this game right. is all about memorization to get good at it. Mm -hmm. So you can have fun with this game, and you can get good and obviously feel like way less of a clod. Oh, I can't believe that. Um, 
But the point is, it's until you are willing to invest that much time in getting good at it in those kind of old school memorization ways, All right. it's going to be frustrating because you don't feel powerful, your character feels sluggish. Um, to be fair, I mean, is, is this, how close are we to the end? Is this the last level or? Uh, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> no, uh, yes it is. I mean, it's like, very with, with almost no practice on my end, having not played yeah. this game in, I don't know, 20 years or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, it's, I guess, I guess it's just easier to play. I, I imagine it's maybe a lot harder for, is it the same enemies for single player or? The number of enemies? That's a good question. Uh, yeah. it certainly seems extremely similar, if not the same. Uh, every time I jump up on this level to get them because the first wolf was up, the white wolf goes under. I'll have to remember that. Um, I think that's the that's the issue. Like we're making it through okay, but yeah, you don't get that satisfaction of feeling like yeah. you're really kicking butt. You know, yeah. you're you're kind of you yeah. still struggle with it. Just to, you know, and even though you're kind of doing well, it's like yeah. In in the story, basically, Zeus's daughter I think got kidnapped, and the whole point is he resurrected great heroes. Ah. Uh, to uh, to do his bidding and rescue his daughter for him. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're talking about now with the, with the... getting bounced around. <laughs> yeah, getting bounced yeah, around. Got, uh, you can't jump down from the platform. You have to walk off the edge, and there's you're gonna miss the power up ball if you don't hurry up. No, well, I, other yeah. Edge, you can't jump down. You have to walk off and fall off. Oh, well, you I, wait I was, for it. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was sorry. Yeah, I was panicking because yeah, I, was... I knew you were stuck up there. <laughs> Uh, which is another thing I hate. It's the same problem. Uh, luckily, they got rid of it in Black Belt when they ported it from the uh, Fist of the North Star game. Right. Uh, it's got the same problem where they've got these platforms that you can jump up on, and then you can't get down without walking off the edge. So in many cases, you can end up stuck where you don't want to be uh, up there, and you have to wait for or walk all the way to an edge to jump down off of it. Right, right. It's almost to me like once you get the the fast wolf powers, it is yeah. kind of fun. It's almost like they they perfected that, and then they decided, well, we'll just really gimp yeah. the human guy uh, just to. Yeah. I don't I, know. I think they do double the boss's hit points. That's about it when you play two player. But and so again with this with this guy, I think what we were supposed to do was attack him from a distance with the fireballs, and then we could literally dash right through him before he charges, like he does this snorting, I'm going to, like, ram toward you. Right. And you can either go right through him with the dash attack, or you could jump up high and dash attack to the other side, and then keep attacking him. So, like, that's a concept I love, and we're definitely going to uh, implement that concept into Damon Claw. We already have with the... The, the first boss isn't implemented yet, but it's uh, we've already got it fully planned out. Um, right, yeah. And uh, so that idea of you get these powers and then you have part of the level to <laughs> master using your powerful attacks. Oh yeah, you can actually control yourself and beat up the, um, the credits. Oh, nice. I th what is it, fall? Yeah, they just fall. It's too bad they don't shatter or anything, but you yeah. know. <laughs> Did you press start or no? It I think it just restarted. Oh, it just looped around. Yeah. Oh, done. So, but yeah, th there was um, the one. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's not much point playing much more. We could just sort of keep playing right. while we talk a little bit, just to wrap up the ideas. But uh, yeah. that's it. I mean, this game is by no means terrible. A lot of people give it a bad rap. But sure, it is one yeah. of those things where it really is, you have to be willing to invest through the clumsiness and the fact that here you have these weakest of guys, they can rapid punch faster than you can attack, um, their range is at least as good as yours, and um, you really can get bounced around a lot, which is very 
not fun to say the least. Right. Like yeah. really weak characters compared to you. You're supposed to be one of the greatest heroes being transformed <coughs> into a super powerful monster like a werewolf, and you're getting bounced into a, a deadly pit by these tiny little enemies that you can otherwise destroy with one punch. Yep. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I loved it before I played it enough to realize that it just, its it doesn't play anywhere near as cool as it could if they had just had the time or taken the time to really tweak specific things. And I did hear, I think I started to mention this, I did hear in those History of Altered Beast, the creator, the designer of the game was really obsessed with this idea of making the arcade, the original version of this game for the arcade, making it with special buttons in the cabinet that were pressure sensitive so how hard you pressed would lead to a different attack. So there were right. like twice as many different attacks you could do with the game. But a lot of creative gameplay um, eggs were in that one basket. And mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's part of why this game kind of feels half-baked is, oh, that's cool, it looks like I was... Eating. Yeah, he, he ended up kind of being disappointed, right? Uh, yeah, you know, and the, it, it feels yeah. like it feels like he had so much invested in that from a designer's standpoint that once they knew for sure that that was not going to be an option, it feels like maybe the game would have been more interesting or played better if he were able to explore that um, and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the game yeah. was designed around that in mind and having different attacks in mind that would do different things. So some of the enemies later on, for example, that can be really annoying that take more than one hit to get rid of. Maybe if you, you know, oh, didn't mean to get that. oh no problem. Maybe if you yeah. gave the button a hard press, maybe you'd be able to destroy that enemy with one hit. Right. Um, and th those sort of things. I don't know how far, but that can happen if you're a designer and you really have your mindset on one thing and that kind of... You don't get to do that. And right. I'm pretty sure it lasted a long time where he was pushing for it and he was trying to do that and he was designing the game around that concept and then it just couldn't happen. Right, so. yeah. I'm not sure what you do if one of those things gets on your head when you're the flying dragon. Usually it's just pressing left, right, left, right really quickly, which is not great with control modern control pads, but worked fine right. in the uh, arcade cabinets. I mean, uh, you know, I can guess that it's possible a lot of the shortcomings of the game are just kind of due to the the how different the beasts are and they behave. Yeah. It's almost like they had to design, you know, like 10 different playable characters for this, you know, right. uh, and the way they work. Yeah. Which, admittedly, I mean, they're not that complex, but, yeah. you know, just from the developer standpoint, they probably were looking at it like, oh, this is a lot different than just right. making our one main character sort of thing. Um, but there's yeah. so, some balance things that would not have yeah. taken many play tests to, to figure out, hey, this laser attack is useless. Uh, let's make that right. a little more powerful or let's we weaken the uh, force field thing a little bit so you can't make a joke of the, uh, the boss at the end. But with that one mode that completely eliminates strategy, it's just get close and mm -hmm. rapid fire the button as best you can. Those kind of things. It's still fun, though. I mean, I guess maybe it does feel a little short. Yeah, like yeah. It didn't take us very long to get through it. Yeah. Uh, is the arcade longer, or is it the same number of same levels? Same number of levels. Okay. Uh, I mean, and, you know, it was also designed to be a token eater to right. make money at the arcade. And I guess there's not much else to say about this game. That's what I really loved about it was the concept, the sort of setting... Uh, it really was revolutionary in those ways. Yeah, and considering the time period, I mean, it, it's easy to say, oh, you know, people could have done so much better nowadays, but, you know, you, what was this, like, 89 or... Uh, yeah, something like you that. You know, yeah. so, I mean, that was a while ago. You know, people hadn't made a lot of these types of games yet, yeah. you know, at that point, so... Yep, and this guy but went then, to make uh, Golden Axe. So. Right, but then on the other hand, you had things like... 
you know, Final Fight uh, coming out that year. So people were developing much uh, better playing action games, but, you know, they were all kind of working on these things at the same time. And this was one of Sega's attempts, you know, so. Oh, game over. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It, like I said, it's people give this an overly bad rap. This game, the concept yeah. was was great. The game's not bad. It's a bit short, and I wish you were invulnerable a little, like at all, after taking a hit, and you right. get bounced around by weak enemies. You know, and it would have been great if the final boss being a relatively small ram. You know, right. like he's the least impressive boss in my opinion, <laughs> and he's the yeah. final boss. Reminds me of Shadow of the Beast on the Amiga. You <laughs> right. play through this game, and then the final boss is a giant's big toe. And you, you punch their hangnail enough, and then you win the game. But, yeah, and that's uh, a, and that's also just a, a side note for you know developers. Even if even if a game doesn't play well, or maybe you don't have the greatest experience, there may be some qualities there and ideas there that are worth still picking apart and and yeah. you know being inspired by so don't don't always just throw it all out and say ah oh, that was terrible i'm not going to do anything like this game ever right you know there, there's still as we've done with both black belt and this game of course black yeah. belt plays a lot better you know uh, it, it has much better controls and everything right. so we're trying to take you know like you said you get those ideas and combine them and yeah. that's what being creative is all about so yeah, ironically, creativity is taking what you, uh, taking things you've experienced and combining them together in a new way. And, exactly. Uh, in this case, it's two different video games, but uh, obviously a lot of other concepts are going into. And uh, for those new to the game we're working on and our projects, we'll link to our website and our other videos where we're making the game and discuss it. And, and stuff like that. It's got a medieval magical setting, uh, not ancient Greece as specifically as is this case, and you don't transform into things like werewolves. You stay a human, but you've got a magical gauntlet that looks different and gives you different magical abilities per level, and just more moves in general than these older games had. And the really important thing that uh, ties in with that idea of the powers you get being perfect to fight the boss and we discussed that in our black belt video was video games it's all about communicating visually with the player and making sure in the boss fight that when you use the power you have in just the right way that does the most damage as like a counter attack or an attack having the enemy do a special animation that really makes it viscerally rewarding and very educational or communicative to the player that yes you just did what you should be doing and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, that's something they certainly in black belt didn't have the memory you know with especially the arcade version of altered beast which is almost identical to this and for all intents and purposes as far as the number of animations and stuff like that they really could have done more in that regard as far as communication but obviously mm -hmm. with a tiny cartridge on the master system black belt they didn't have as much room to do those kind of things. But that right. was one of the most frustrating things about Black Belt was during a lot of the boss fights. Half the time you don't know if you're hurting the boss or why the attack you're trying is not having an effect when it looks like it certainly should be. Like if you're exactly. drop kicking someone repeatedly in the face and it's doing the little impact flash but they take no damage <laughs> for five yep. minutes of getting drop kicked to the face or whatever. But anyway, I won't ramble too long. Uh, I'll try to resist that urge. Stay tuned for other games. The only other game that definitely had an influence on Damon Claw were the classic non-Metroidvania Castlevania games. Right, so yeah. So maybe we'll do a playthrough or a partial playthrough of some of those at some point and discuss. And those are, and those are much harder than, than this game. Longer and sure. harder. For yes. Sure. <laughs> but anyway. So we'll leave it there. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, stay tuned for other videos. If you enjoy our content and want to keep up to date on our games, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you want to support our projects, consider becoming a patron. The link's in the description and we'll see you soon.